Welcome back gamers to the official Zap Hosting YouTube channel, my name is Ellie and in today's tutorial I will show you how to set up Ark Survival Evolved server on your VPS, so let's get started. First I will show you how to get a Windows VPS server, if you own one already, skip the video to the provided timestamp on the screen. Now navigate to the root server bar, select VPS Hosting and then click Windows VPS Hosting. Here you can configure a server to your liking, you can change the server location, RAM, CPU cores, disk space, IP addresses, bandwidth and the operating system. Finally select the payment method and confirm your order, but before you do that, here is a little gift from us. 50% off voucher code, which you can use by clicking here on use voucher and typing ARC minus VPS. After you confirm your order, the server will be up in just a minute. Now click on your VPS server and wait for the server to finish the installation. Once the installation completes, navigate to the settings tab. Here create an administrator password that you will have to use in order to log in via the remote desktop app. Now copy your server's IP and launch the remote desktop app on your PC. Click on show options. In the computer tab, paste in the IP to your server. The username will always be administrator by default. Now click on act and type the password which is the one you defined earlier and click OK. After successfully connecting to the machine, create a folder on your desktop and name it however you like. For example, I will call it Arc Server. Now open Google Chrome and paste in the link that you will find in the video description. Here scroll down until you find the download link and click on download. Once the download finishes, feel free to close this window. Now open File Explorer, go to the Downloads folder, open the Steam file that you just downloaded and drag and drop the contents into the folder you created earlier. After that, double click Steam CMD and wait for the installation to finish. After it is finished, write down the following command login anonymous. Then paste in the command that you will find in the video description. Installation of the ARC dedicated server will now begin, which can take up to 30 minutes, so sit back, make some tea and relax. After a successful installation, feel free to close this window. Now open the folder you created earlier again. Here you will find a bunch of new files. Go to Steam Apps, Common, then ARC Survival Evolved dedicated server. Here you will find the files of your ARC server. In order to start your server, you will need to create a start file. To do so, go to Shoot a Game folder, Binaries and then Win64. Here click on View and then and check file name extensions. Now right click to create a new text document and call it however you like, but make sure to change the .txt to .bat and click on yes. Open the file with notepad++ and paste the following command that can be found in the video description and on the screen. Now if you want, feel free to edit the name of your server, set a server password, server admin password and slots. After configuring everything to your liking, save the file and close the window. Now double click the file to start the server for the first time. The installation of a new Arc world and other configurations will now start, which can take up to 20 minutes, so please be patient. After the installation finishes, you can change user settings, which can be found in the config folder by right clicking the default game user settings.ini file with Notepad++. Feel free to to edit those settings to your liking or leave it on default, but make sure to save the file and close it. You can also find additional settings by going to Short Game Folder, Saved, Config, Windows Server and opening Game User Settings.ini with Notepad++. Here you have a lot of settings to play with, but be careful and don't forget to save the file after the changes. You will now need to unlock the ports in the firewall in order to join the server. Open the search bar, search for Windows Defender Firewall with Advanced Security and click on it. Navigate to Inbound Rules, click on the new rule, click on Port and then Next. Here select TCP and write the exact numbers as me, 27020 and click on Next. Make sure the Allow connection is selected, here all the boxes must be checked. In this field, create whatever name you like and click on Finish. Now click on New Rule again, select Port, then Next. This time select UDP and write 27015 and click on Next.
Make sure allow the connection is selected, here all the boxes must be checked, in this field create whatever name you like and click on finish. Then once again click on new rule, select port, then next, again select UDP and write 777-7778 and click on next. Make sure allow the connection is selected, here all the boxes must be checked, create whatever name you like and click on finish. Now navigate to outbound rules and repeat the same process as before. After that, feel free to close the window and start the server by double-clicking on the file that you created earlier and wait for the server to come online, which can take a couple of minutes. Now let's try connecting to the server. Copy your server's IP address, then open your Steam client. Click on View, then Server, select Favorites and click on Add a Server button. Now paste your server's IP and click on Add this address to the Favorites. From here you can try and connect to your server by clicking Connect. If you get an error message, don't worry and launch ARC on your PC. Once you're in the game, click on Join ARC. Here you could try search for a server, but there are thousands of servers and it's unlikely you will find yours, so click on Session Filter and select Favorites, because we have added the server to our favorite server list on Steam. Your server should show up on this list, so select the server, click on Join and wait for the game to load. As you can see, you have now successfully connected to your own ARC Survival Evolved server. Enjoy! That's it for today. If you have any questions, you can contact our support by creating a ticket on our website or live chat and we will be more than happy to help you out. Now, have a lovely rest of the week and enjoy playing on your new Zap server.